This is Minister Paula Watchman on the Wall in Northern California. Something really creepy is going on today on 5-3, man. It really is. So I made a 12 minute and 7 second video regarding this uh, tactile exhibition of the Bell Arch coming to New York this fall, which begins on September 22nd, 2017. That's when fall begins. And I here's the video you can see in my processor, and then here it is uploaded to YouTube. But I haven't even titled it yet. I'm not going to release this because I'm going to add in this video and process this whole thing and, and re-upload it to where because the Holy Spirit is warning me to put this information at the front of the video. So after this part ends, it'll then go into the 12 minute video of all these things I found that are amazing. But we want to look at this website because the Holy Spirit led me to this website. Instead of searching tactile exhibition, the Holy Spirit led me to search tactile exhibition Arch of Palmyra. And that's when things got weird. And things are being uncovered here. So so they're taught they, they actually have a website, which is disturbing, cityhallarch.org in New York. And uh, they're talking about something that already happened last year on September twenty third, when this thing went up at City Hall. But they list the New York Public Library, which from everything I read and studied and made two videos on, has not happened yet. Or has it? It's strange. In these dates. So, you're seeing the tie-in from the UK to New York. So this is a... Just read along, and here's a long letter, and I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to put a link. And then and this pretty much is showing that day and when it happened it went up on September 19th in City Hall Park well see that's what I mean is it the 23rd or the 19th it, it's like my 8th time Ep exhibition opened through okay so it went up on the 19th and ended on the 23rd gotcha now as we go down watch how weird and confusing this gets Let's skip past the place where it's already been and let's go to New York. It gives a history. Let's go to New York though. So it says New York Public Library. Now you can click directly to this. And this has already happened. This is where it gets really weird. This event that you're about to see me explain in detail after this this part of the video ends and it flows into that 12 minute one. This event's already happened, according to the City Hall organization in New York. It, the, the tactile exhibition where everybody puts their hands on it and stuff, that's already happened. Not according to the source, says it hasn't happened yet, according to New York government. And here's the people, eating, drinking, you know, giving in marriage. <laughs> Marrying and giving in marriage. Look, so now follow me. It, this is this is a. Did this happen twice and we were not told, or am I just out of the loop here? And why are they act, acting like it's not in Italy right now? I'm telling you. And, and also, why are they not telling us it's in Italy or publishing that on their website, but you can only find it in blogs? Why is why are they giving a date right here for New York uh, Public Library, not City Hall Public Library, that they said would be September this fall? Uh, why why are they giving this date? Tuesday, September 20th at 6 p.m. In New York, New York, 10011, the event, they're calling it. Well, if you go check September, Tuesday, September 20th for this year, and this fall, not last year, it's not that day. This is... Well, it, Sep Tuesday, September 20th, this year is Wednesday. You following me on this? According to them, this has already happened. According to other sources, it hasn't happened. It's like when they were going to send it to New York and cancel it. And they're calling it the event. And there's some really disturbing verbiage in this thing, man. A total, now watch this, a total of seven tactile exhibits complete with braille, large print, and audio 
uh, and it's gonna this is gonna travel across the United States in parallel with the sister exhibition in the United Kingdom so did this already happen open to the public Wednesday September uh, 21st but here's the thing Wednesday of this year I'm telling you this is bizarre Wednesday of this year is the 22nd not the 21st or vice versa right I'm just gonna have to stop Wednesday is the 20th not the 21st so I ask you why all this weird stuff has this happened yet or not happened some sites say it's coming this the the city hall there is saying that it not only has it been there that it's traveling across the United States and its sister the United Kingdom and this was last year ponder that praise the Lord hallelujah thank you Jesus Minister Paul in Northern California on May 3rd I want to um, I want to give you some new updated information regarding this bail arch this it's currently in Arona right now Arona Italy that's the second Italy connection and then it's coming back to New York I made a video on this I called it a digital image so uh, I want to show you the article right here it says uh, in addition to the Arona exhibition okay so they're clearly admitting it right now that it's in Arona, Arona. Uh, the IDA Institute for Digital Archaeology is expanding its tactile exhibitions of heritage objects for sight impaired visitors showcased through fall this fall so fall begins September 22nd 2017 this year the day before the big 723 number everybody's talking about I haven't been led to warn about that but I know many people are September 23rd Revelation 12 sign and all that so, so fall equinox starts a day before this date so they're gonna put this thing up and and it also talks about how they're gonna put more and more of them everywhere so watch for this but when you go to their main site do you remember the Lord told me man there's a connection between the evil going on in London and the UK and New York and I didn't know what it is well he's revealing more I mean this place is in the UK I'll show you so London Dubai New York and Florence one two four four places right but this is not listing Arona, which would be five. So the next time they put it up, that's six, which is the number of man, and it's uh, warned about in the Bible. And and that's that we know of. And so I I looked up what is a a, a tactile um, exhibition here. For some reason, this video is being hard to make in Jesus' name, but we're gonna make it. That they mentioned it, and uh, because someone on, had commented on my video about the physical arch that it was a tactile exhibition and I, I looked it up her name was Kirby thank you I looked it up and I looked up what is a tactile exhibition because I've never heard of it and and I'm gonna show you the images I got for it this is a vanilla search of tactile exhibition and it's like like this it, you actually put your hands on it people the first thing I saw was people lifting up their right hand I kid you not you're putting it on everything so I don't know what you had pictures in your pictured in your mind of this thing coming to New York but man it's got creep factor written all over it this is what it's gonna be like similar to this and not just I don't believe it's just this one arch bail arch I think it's a couple other things showcased uh, so let me ask you again creepy or not creepy so watch this so they set up physical arches and they told people to pass through them and I recorded demonic portal opening on the one in London I did I don't care if you believe me or not on this issue I'm telling you I saw what I saw and uh, and so now it's not enough to just physically you know for people that can see watch this message here 
for phys people physically that can see to voluntarily pass through this evil arch of Baal. But now, for people that can't see the blind and the, the partial blind, they, they're encouraging you to come put your hand on this thing. Get your right hand up and, and put it on this thing and touch it. That's what it says like to, why, man? Why? What's going on with our government and our world? It's just like Jesus said. Man, just, just, yeah, I'm a little disturbed on this. It's just creepy. So that's, so let me just go on and, and, and show you more information that I count, find account disturbing. Is it this article? I think it's this one. This is a blog. And it shows that this thing's going up in, in several locations. This is a really good blog. Uh, matter of fact, when I just found this doing a search of the the uh, tactile image and bell arch, and it has all of them here, and people standing underneath them and unveiling this stuff. But she's also more up to date this person than the site making them is. See, she's got a Rona in here. So two Italy locations, and then New York physically, and then New York as an image. And then I read something where. This thing is going up in these digital images scheduled for, again, remember number seven? Seven locations. It's not just New York. It's been scheduled for seven locations. And, uh, see if I can find, Here, here's UNESCO tie-in. And you know what else is interesting? Here's Florence and installed in Arona with a map. Same map I've been showing. Following will be a six month series of events at the Museum of Archaeology in Arona. The arch will be on display as part of a larger exhibit and renaming of the Museum of Archaeology to, yeah, to, to Al Assad. And then here it mentions Arona. I know this was the Lord that led me to this because she she has a link on here to informed Christians right here on YouTube, Daniel. And, and a video from him. Look at this, 3-7. Okay, so I've seen all I want to see. But, oh, there's Sabine. So yeah, this is a real issue and it's involving Israel. I mean... When we talk about UNESCO and Harvard and these Skull and Bones people, they're not up to any good. The United Nations is not up to any good, in my opinion. And UNESCO, and uh, which is part of the United Nations, a, a branch of it, it, it's just evil. You know what I mean? And so I want to tie this in prophetically to the Bible. It's, here is an a, a article from Sputnik Today. And it says Israel is going to cut their UN funding over UNESCO vote on Jerusalem occupation. And this is all going to lead up, you mark my words, they're going to place this thing on the Temple Mount. You've been warned. And when that happens, if you're not saved, it's too late. This is today's date, May 3rd. They're going to move, they're going to put this in Israel. And you know what? The, 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 the world leaders and stuff like that, they're going to be all for it. They're going to think it's the best thing since they you know, baked bread, but it, 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 look at this. Where's that thing? Just look at this. I'm not getting involved in that, but you see how easy people would be willing just to give up the right hand and be marked and like that. So I want to scroll down to this in closing. This is new information. I mean, it, it, I'm just telling you, when you see this thing go up in Israel, <laughs> if we're even here, oh my gosh, talking about the, the Temple Mount and, and the unholy things standing where it ought not. That's the scripture I'm talking about. This is this this is the New York Public Library where they're going to put it up and you you know get your hands all over it. Touch it. Use your right hand. This is the, the, the New York Public Library where it's going to go this fall sometime after September 22nd, 2017. This is their site. And uh, and I want I want to this is where it's going to be and they call it a tactile exhibition. This is the link I got from Kirby. Now look at this, from September 19th, 2016. 
and these dates are significant too from october 16 2016 so basically less than a month during that time there was seven look first i heard of this in 2017 first i heard of it i'm, I'm just going to co co continue to sound the alarm on this thing because the new york public library website in new york where they're going to go up and put that that creepy thing a total of seven tactile exhibitions complete with braille large print and audio will explore uh, so it's talking about this tie-in now watch this Raymond United States and parallel with the sister exhibition United K do you see that the UK do you see how God warned me I'm telling you he said you know there's a tie-in between the UK and also London where it was and New York and there it is right there seven of them so we're, we're looking to see where the sixth one goes you, you follow me but I was never notified of these things being in any location till the other day they're not going to tell us stuff did you know that this was up digitally to put your right hand on and just put your hands on it in seven locations last year well then they're not telling us everything just like this site doesn't show it being in Arona right now but a blogger does I'm telling you it'll be in it'll be in Israel long before it's even mentioned that that's how this is going to work and what's interesting in it is this blog right here that uh, mentions uh, this picture was taken by Pastor D and he's been in prison ever since here's New York at the City Hall Manhattan uh, here's London uh, what's interesting about this is some of these key words this blogger is using goes by Tammy look sept it used to be uh, it the word I I'll just use her words the, the, the monumental arch, the arch of triumph, the bell arch, that's what I call it, was built in the 3rd century during the reign of Emperor Septimus Severus. Now, my, sever us. Did you see that? Sever us. What? Sever us from God? Well, you can't do that, but they're going to try. And, and look at this. September. And another thing, if you just made this an N, it'd be 7. I'm telling you, I'm not reading into this. I'm just, uh, I'm sharing this, man, of what I see. It used to be, uh, it, the original name was Tadmar. And these people are using Bible scriptures. And then I'm coming down here and all of a sudden I see informed Christians. I don't think any of this is a, is a coincidence. I'm asking you, please, like, stay on top of this. Look up your information. And why are they doing this? Why now? Because we're in the end times and Jesus is coming, that's why. And by the time you see it head towards Israel, or even before then, because in my rapture dream I was let off work an hour early, it could be too late. Sound in the alarm. It could be too late. You're either right with Jesus or you're not. There is no in-between. There is no gray area.